Terraria's had many fan-made challenges over the years, one of the biggest being Skyblock. But today, we're taking the idea of Skyblock, but pushing it further. Introducing the One Block. One Block. One Block. One Block. One Block. So this is truly it. Just one block you forever mine. So... Let's see if we can beat the game. So like any normal challenge, the first thing I started doing was just mining. This went on for a while, but I realized something very important. The items in my inventory, and these will come in handy very, very soon. But moving on, we started to expand a little bit and make some progress towards a larger island. We also got our first dirt and grass seed planted down. I then crafted a workbench and realized I can craft crates. This is when some of the starting items actually start to come in clutch. We used some of the water buckets to craft some ocean crates and we got to looting. We then started to expand a little more and get more of a platform going. It's gonna be ugly as hell for the first while. I'm telling y'all that now. It's gonna be so ugly. And we actually ended up obtaining a snowball cannon from the frozen crate as well, which is gonna give us a huge advantage on damage. And right before it turned night, we actually ended up getting a slime. And we also started to make a jungle area. This is gonna help us get some new items and some other stuff that we can't get otherwise. I also created a platform for all of our crafting stuff to go on to. This way it's a little less cluttered and I have a lot more space to work with. It gets quite stuffy. But when day came, we started working on a fishing pool. This way we can get some fishing done and we don't have to use some of our hard earned materials to get some crates. And I don't wanna talk about how long this took to fill. After that, we got to working on some NPC housing, though I procrastinate a lot. I didn't get this done until 20 minutes after I started. Yeah, I get distracted easily, but hey, now we have NPC housing. But next up on our bucket list is to defeat King Slime. And you might ask, how do you do that if you don't have any demon altars? Well, actually, you can get all of the boss summons by crafting them in the regular workstation. And this is an addition added by the mod creators so that it's at least playable. Um, we could probably fight King Slime if we wanted. Um, there we go, King Slime Crown. Sweet. So after we crafted the King Slime crown, I started to work on getting some better defense. So we crafted what we could with what we had, and we ended up with a bit of defense that would allow us to start King Slime. Sweet. I think we're ready to fight King Slime. Let's do it. Smash. Facts. Oh, sick. I'm so crazy. I think I'm gonna win this fight, Loki. Oh my god, Jukes. There we go. And we defeated him. First try. And so that's the first boss down. Next is Eye of Cthulhu. To prepare for this fight, what we were going to want to do is make sure we had all of our defense set up. It wasn't too much grinding considering we had pretty much all we needed for this fight but we still wanted to be extra cautious. So we got to grinding a little bit. And when we were done, we were ready to fight this boss. Nothing too fantastic, but we're gonna go for it anyways. Okay, this is gonna be a really easy fight. Okay. Oh. Now, before I show you this next part, you guys have to promise not to make fun of me because I made the biggest mistake of my life. No. 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 Yeah, so now we have to fight him again. So I ended up scrummaging up six more lenses so I could fight him one more time. And this time, we're not going to make the same mistake. Let's do it. Dude, imagine like the items fall through the ground. Oh. 
Holy crap, we're tanking him. We're absolutely tanking him. There we go. Oh, sweet. So now that we're done with the Eye of Cthulhu, we're gonna wanna prepare for the Eater of Worlds. So we started creating a corruption area and working on getting some vile shrooms. And we even created a small arena just so we could fight this guy. And by the time night rolled around, we were ready. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll summon him. All right, let's do this. Before this fight starts, what do you think will happen? Is it A, we win, B, we get brutally decimated, or C, it despawns? Take your pick, and let's see what happens. He's coming back up. How does he even, like... Uh, okay, so that's anticlimactic. Um, congratulations, C was the answer. And yeah, that pretty much meant we had to make a bigger platform and redo the whole fight. This was a pain. But once we expanded the platform, we were ready to fight. Fuck it, let's do it. I don't even care if we take that much damage. This is like... Perfect. We have just enough area for this. Oh my god. This is perfect. Come on. Perfect! Oh my god. We did it. This is huge. And so we defeated the Eater of Worlds. This will help us get the gear we need to fight our next boss. And that next boss is Skeletron. So to start, we crafted some shadow armor. This way, we have a little bit more defense and movement speed so we can easily dodge his attacks. I also decided to do a little bit of mining so I could get some ebon stone for the corrupt crate. And that's because we need the musket from the crate. That way we can get the arms dealer to move in. Now, I was lucky enough to get the musket on my second crate opening, which is huge. So I quickly got working on another NPC housing. And once the arms dealer moved in, we were able to buy the mini shark and some bullets. I also went ahead and crafted the summon for Skeletron, and we were finally prepared to fight Skeletron. I reckon since it's a night now and we don't have an arena, we could probably still do this fight. So, uh, let's go. This is it, game. Oh. There we go. Sweet. Oh, and it gave me a molten pickaxe. Sick. That's sweet, dude. And now that we've defeated Skeletron and gotten a molten pickaxe, we can start getting Hellstone. So that's exactly what I started doing. And once we got enough, we started crafting bars and turning it into armor. We then got to work on a massive platform down in hell. The only problem was these damn mobs everywhere. I, I, they kept coming after me. One after another. But we eventually got the platform done and a little lava pool set up so we could fight the boss. And the last thing was to kill a voodoo demon so we could get the voodoo doll. This took a while, but once we got it, we were ready to fight the wall of flesh. Let's do this. Oh shit. What do you mean? What? So we're gonna have to fight him from down here. Okay. Whatever works. Hold on. Let me use my gun. There we go. If I just go up, it should be up here. I think. Yes, it's right here. Perfect. Oh! Oh, and it gives us a titanium pickaxe too. Sweet. Clockwork assault rifle. So we're in hard mode now, and I think that's a perfect time to end this video. And we're going to do a part two next. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that soon, and I'll see you guys next time.